At the Cliff House, Steffi can't believe Finn let Sheila into their house. Finn wants to put an end to this once and for all. Steffi tells him to get rid of Sheila if he wants to end it, and prompts, tell her. Sheila hisses that they have a connection and implores Finn not to do this, don't let Steffi drive your mother away. Ediel Giardino, Deacon is going over paperwork at the bar when he pauses to think about Sheila telling him she has to seize the moment. He recalls warning her that Steffi is the love of his life and Sheila vowing that Steffi will never come between her and Finn again. He turns to see Ridge and Carter walking up to him. He sighs and offers them a romantic table for two before asking, twice in one day. To what do I owe this pleasure? Ridge informs him that they're not done with him. Deacon offers stuffed peppers, but Ridge just wants to talk about his psycho girlfriend. Carter explains that Steffi has decided to move back into the cliff house, which puts her in danger. They know Sheila is planning her next move. If she learns that Finn and Hayes are under the same roof, Carter intones, we need to know what you know. Now. Deacon insists he wants nothing to do with Sheila. Ridge only cares about his daughter's safety. She's in danger because of a woman he knows better than anyone. If he knows anything, Ridge asks Deacon, father to father, to let him know. Deacon nods. At Spencer Publications, Wyatt can't get over Steffi's decision to move back into the cliff house with the kids. He exclaims, what is she thinking? Liam doesn't know but he's right back to worrying about their safety. Wyatt hollers that Sheila is a serious threat to her and the kids. Liam supposes that Steffi refuses to let Sheila rip apart her family any longer, but she's putting herself back in the line of fire, I can't let that happen. Wyatt reminds his brother that Steffi is moving back in with Finn. Is it at all possible that he's upset that she's getting back with her husband? Liam insists this is all about safety. Wyatt points out that Steffi being at Eric's was perfect for Liam, who wants another shot with her. At the Cliff House, Finn tells Sheila that she can't be there. He only brought her in because she showed up unannounced and unwanted. Sheila only came to see him. She protests that Steffi took his son and left. Finn fumes that she left because of her. He's grateful she saved Kelly but she cannot be there, do not come anywhere near us, Kelly, or Hayes. Sheila looks around Finn at Steffi, who sticks out her chin defiantly. Sheila keeps working on Finn, and Steffi snipes at her to just go. Sheila tells Finn that Steffi is weaponizing their relationship to get what she wants, to justify her walking out. Steffi gulps, you've got to be kidding me. Sheila tells Finn she's made mistakes, but he hugged her, they have a bond that nothing and no one will ever break, not even Steffi. The two women glare at each other across the room. At Il Giardino, Deacon insists that he knows nothing about Sheila and has had no contact with her. Ridge doesn't believe him and neither does Carter. Ridge warns if he finds out he's lying, they're going to have a real problem. Deacon insists he'd never jeopardize the safety of Ridge's family. Ridge threatens that if anything happens to his grandkids, he will make him pay. At Spencer, Liam accuses Wyatt of trying to take his concern and turn it into a torrid love triangle. He really is worried. Wyatt argues he's been very clear about his feelings for Steffi lately, he said he'd love to have a life with her and Kelly again. So he must be very disappointed about her going back to Finn. At the Cliff House, Sheila tells Steffi they're both moms and they both have that bond with the children they gave birth to, we would do anything, anything at all to protect that life. That instinct didn't go away for her, there is nothing that can take that away. Finn stands in front of Sheila and tells her, you need to go. Sheila reminds him Steffi walked out on him. Finn says that was because of her because everywhere I go you follow me. He informs her that it ends today, I'm not going to ask you again. Leave. He won't allow her to terrorize Steffi anymore, go. Sheila stares intently at Steffi, who diverts her eyes. At Spencer, Wyatt messes with Liam by wondering how he ever got hope in Steffi. Then he says he's just concerned. Liam admits he was hoping there might be another chance for him and Steffi, but if she's going back to Finn, that's probably not in the cards. At the Cliff House, Sheila tells Steffi she doesn't need to fear her. She loves Finn and Hayes and just wants to be part of the family. She brings up Kelly and Finn informs her that she doesn't get to use Kelly to make them feel guilty, they'll never forget what happened in that alley. Sheila insists she'd never do anything to purposely harm him. I love you, she insists. Finn tells her if that's true, she needs to do as he says and walk out that door and never come back. 
Sheila Gebbers, you don't mean that. She thinks he's being controlled by Steffi. Finn says no one controls him. He and Steffi love each other, and Sheila's caused her nothing but pain. Loves him, she should prove it by leaving, and promise me that we will never hear from you again. Steffi tears up as Sheila studies her, and then walks to the door and exits. Finn Sheila BB Once alone, Finn embraces Steffi and tells her he's sorry she had to go through that. Steffi cries that she can never be in the same room with her. Finn assures Steffi that he got through to Sheila and she's never coming back. Steffi wishes she could believe that but they both know what she's capable of, you heard her. Steffi says, I love you, Finn, but I can't do this anymore.